research that will change your world from the University of Calgary, U of C. This is now. Here you're um, looking at part of the lab um, that is part of our new neuroscience course, Neuroscience 301. Um, it's uh, held here in the field station in Kananaskis, the Biogeoscience Institute. And uh, we're doing all kinds of work here, looking at the impact of uh, environmental factors uh, like uh, Prozac and heavy metals on uh, the behavior and the neurobiology of our um, favorite model, the freshwater snail Limnia stagnalis. We have 18 students here uh, doing six different projects. And we're nearing the end of our stay here, but it's working out quite nicely. We got good results and interesting results. My name is Stephanie Reynolds. I'm a first year neuroscience student at the University of Calgary. Right now we're studying the effect of cadmium and zinc on snails. This snail here has been exposed to cadmium and zinc for about a week and as you can see it's not moving too fast. It looks kind of unhealthy. It's laying on its back. It can't attach its foot to the, gla to the cup. Normally the control snails they attach their foot to the cup and zoom around and you can barely like see their heart at all because they're moving so fast but this one it's just sitting. It's not good. <laughs> We're particularly interested in the, in the effects of long-term exposure to very low doses of uh, Prozac which is what these snails would be confronted with in their normal environment at least in a contaminated environment. Uh, the point is that when it affects snails, it potentially also affects humans and cattle and, and other wildlife. So you could look at these snails as an indicator species, as, as a warning, uh, giving a warning sign that say, oh, there is something wrong here, you may want to look at this. So that's one of the, uh, the aspects of why we do this research. Hi, my name is Rachel Huff. Um, me along with my two group members, Laura and Maggie, have been doing a uh, experiment on the visual system of Limnea. Um, and we basically have two parts to our experiment. One is behavioral assay where we're looking at uh, which they prefer, if they prefer a vertical visual cue or a horizontal visual cue. And then the other part of our experiment is electrophysiology, where we're looking at electrical, electrical potentials within um, the optic nerve. I've learned so much, and it's really interesting to be able to study what we want. We got to design our own experiments, pick what we wanted to study. Being here has been really fun. We got to get to know our class really well. We're going to be spending four years with these people, so it's really good bonding experience and we play football at night and watch movies and like not just this like there's a whole other aspect to being here that's really fun.